Hi, I'm Gary Boitler from the Water Stores Group and I own the water store in Midland, Ontario. Today we're talking about tannin filters. First of all, what are tannins? Tannins uh, is a discoloration in your water. Often the water is kind of a tea, um, tea color and uh, it, it's, it's caused from vegetation uh, rotting, uh, rotting roots of vegetation in the water and uh, it tints the water. If your water comes out of the tap a tinted color, then quite often it's tannins. Tannins is often mistaken for iron in the water, so you really need a water treatment professional like someone from the water stores group to test your water to determine if you have tannins or if you have iron or there's something else um, coloring your water. But what we're talking about today is how does a tannin filter actually remove the tannins from your water. And what you'll see is it's very similar to a water softener. It looks like a water softener, to some degree it works like a water softener, and, uh, and those are the similarities. So how does a tannin filter actually remove the tannins from your water? So as you can see, there's two parts to a tannin filter. There's the media tank with the control valve at the top, and there's the brine tank that uh, houses the salt. And this is where the brine is made. So how it works is inside the media tank, it's filled with um, a very fine media. All the water in your house passes through, house or cottage I should say, passes through this media and uh, that's what filters out the tannins in the water. It's through a process of um, mechanical filtration where it actually physically filters out the tannins, but it also has to do with ion exchange that uh, removes the tannins from your water. Once, uh, um, at some point, obviously, this is going to get full of tannins, so it has to clean itself. And how it cleans itself is through a regeneration process. Again, very similar to a water softener. So the controller is set up that it needs to regenerate every three days. Um, unlike a water softener, at least most modern water softeners, are set up to regenerate based on demand, based on how much water you use. With tannins, it's different. Every three days, this media needs to be regenerated to make sure that we get rid of the tannins that are in, inside here. So the regeneration typically occurs at the, in the middle of the night. Um, the controller um, does it all automatically. And the first step of regeneration is it backwashes this media. media. So it reverses the flow through the, this uh, media tank and it flushes all those tannins to the drain. So the bulk of the tannins get flushed to the drain. The next um, stage of the regeneration process is the brining cycle, where it sucks this brine. The water and the salt in here is made of brine solution, so it sucks this via tubing into the media tank and it runs it across that media and what that does, it regenerates the media and it also gets rid of the last of the tannins that are there, flushes it to the drain. The next stage is a rinse cycle. So it uh, rinses the media and it removes all that brine that was inside this media tank and again, it flushes it to the drain. And the last stage in the regeneration um, process is the fill cycle. So what it does, the controller puts in a, a predetermined amount of water into the brine tank so the water touching the salt will make the brine so it's ready to go for the next time. And that's how a tannin filter works to remove the tannins from the water in your house or cottage. As you can see, very similar to the water softener, two huge differences are the media is totally different, number one, and number two, it needs to regenerate every three days doesn't matter how much water you use, every three days it needs to regenerate. And that's it. If you like the information you saw today, please check out our website at waterstoresgroup.com. And again, I'm Gary Boitler from the Water Store in Midland, Ontario. Thanks for watching.